Hey everybody, welcome back to the Adonis Cosplay channel. I'm Dylan, and today we are going to be making Ichigo Zanpakuto from Bleach. Specifically, we're going to be making this design, but this tutorial will work for any of his many different sword designs. This should be a pretty quick and easy build. I like it a lot because it's not that expensive, and it's pretty accessible to a lot of different people. Having said that, let's jump right in. To get started, let's go over the materials you're going to need. I'm using 1 inch insulation foam for the body of the sword. I like it because it's super light and you can get it really easy from the hardware store. It usually costs about $20 for one sheet. Plus, you can cut it with a utility knife so it'll be super easy to work with. You'll also need a 1 inch dowel rod or PVC pipe, 3M Super 77 spray adhesive, Mod Podge, some faux leather for the handle, a little bit of EVA foam, and some paint. Total cost of this build was right around $60. The first step will be to draw the sword on the foam sheet. For reference, I'm 6 foot 2 inches tall, and I made my sword 65 and a half inches long. The handle measures 13 and a half inches, and the blade is 52 inches from the top of the handle to the tip of the sword. Feel free to adjust the size to fit your body. Once the shape is drawn, go ahead and cut it out with your utility knife. I like to leave a little space between the drawing and the cut because we will sand and cut that down a little bit later. Once the sword is cut out, Trace it on the remaining insulation foam and cut out an identical piece. Step two is to mark where you want the handle to sit and start carving out a channel for your handle. Be careful, it's super easy to cut all the way through without noticing. I cut the channel about three feet down the length of the sword, and the more handle you fit inside the blade, the sturdier the sword will be. Do this for both pieces of your foam, but make sure that they are mirrored. The channel needs to be about half an inch deep so the foam can sandwich around your handle. Next, we're going to take our spray adhesive and sandwich these two pieces of foam together with the handle inside. Spray an even coat on both pieces of foam and your handle, but only spray the part of the handle that's going to go inside the sword. This stuff is really sticky, so make sure you do this in a space that's okay to get dirty. I did have help setting the handle inside the sword and lining up the other half to get as close as possible. Press everything down firmly and let the glue set. Now comes the fun and messy part. Draw out the sharp edge of the blade and start using your utility knife to whittle it away until it becomes a point. You're gonna do this on both sides of the sword and take a couple passes as it's gonna take a little while to get the sword into that point. Once you have a rough shape, you can actually start sanding the foam smooth. I would start around 120 grit sandpaper, any coarser and it can take chunks out of the foam. Now is also a good time to cut the sword closer to your original drawing line so that you don't have to sand as much later on. By the way, I added a bevel to the back of the sword. I'm not sure if it's really there, but it felt like it needed it. We're going to quickly use a heat gun to seal up the foam, but be super careful because as you can see, the heat gun can melt the foam super fast. I use 10 millimeter foam to make the cuffs that go on the top and bottom of the handle. Now it's time to mod podge the sword. We're going to do a thin coat all over, let it dry, wet sand, and do another coat on top again. You're going to end up doing about four to five coats all over the sword to get a really nice smooth finish as well as a thick enough coat to keep the sword protected. It's important to use matte Mod Podge and wet sand between coats to avoid any sort of brush strokes from showing up on your finished prop. Mod Podge will give this thing some structure, but it's definitely not indestructible, so don't go swinging this at anything. If you hit anything, the tip may break off. The next step will be getting ready for paint. We're going to be doing a few coats of Classy Dip first to help get a smoother overall texture. The step isn't 100% necessary, but overkill tends to be better in my opinion. Once the Classy Dip is dry, we're going to do a couple layers of primer, then a couple layers of black paint. I prefer Krylon Semi-Gloss here, as I think it gives the prop a nice finish. Once the black is all dry, you can mask off the edge of the sword and get ready to paint the blade edge silver. Peeling the masking tape off when it's all dry is my favorite part. The last thing I did for paint is I did a few coats of clear lacquer to protect and seal everything away. To finish this off, I bought some gray faux leather and cut long one inch strips for the handle. I used super glue to tack down the fabric and kept gluing continuously as I wrapped the fabric up the handle. I started at the bottom because I wanted each row of the pleather to overlay the row beneath it. This took some time, but I feel it gave a really nice touch to the finish and it makes it very comfortable to hold. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you had as much fun making your sword as I did with making mine. If you guys did complete one of your swords, go ahead and send it to me on social media, like on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys created. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're interested, and we'll see you guys in the next one.